Hey guys, so now what we have is our SSD right here. It is in our SSD M2 board, and what I had done was I unscrewed this screw here, then I slid in my SSD, and it is now on the SSD board. What we can do next, and this is a way I haven't seen mentioned much, but this will actually act as an external drive. So we can simply use the DD command to migrate our previous SD card over to the more reliable and faster SSD. And that's what we're gonna do right here. And one reason I have the lighting the way it is is so you can see my screen. And next what we'll do once we have the SSD on our board, we will take a USB and place it into our SSD board. And at that point, it will show up as a external drive, which we should be able to see with LSBLK. And at that point, we can note here that we have the SSD show up. Make sure to get the correct uh, size so that you don't flash to the wrong location. And right here, what we have is the server operating system that we're going to be moving to the SSD. And so what we can do here is simply um, use the DD command and flash it right over. So we would do DD input file equals, and then it would be our slash DEV slash MMC BLK zero, which would be the entire SS. SD card over to the SSD, then we would do of equals slash DEV slash SDC, and that will send it to our SSD. And of course, we can do something like this, BS equals 8M, status equals progress, and then we could get started moving and migrating from the less reliable SD card over to the much more reliable SSD. And at that point, we can finish setting up our Argon case and we can boot into it. It's as easy as that. There's also scripts online, which you can also take advantage of if you want to use the infrared remote control. But in my case, what I did is I switched the pins here over and there's a little clip. You can switch the pins and that will allow you to have it always on. And since I have a power switch, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So as you can see, the command here would take the input file would be our SD card, which is in my case, MMC BLK0, and then the of equals will be our SSD, which shows up once we use a USB cord hooked between our SSD board and our laptop in this case. So that's it. That's how we're going to transfer it over, and then we'll continue on with setting things up. I've actually already pre-set up this server, so we're going to be doing this process behind the scenes. And if you want to hear more, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll be happy to read your comments and answer any questions you might have. Make sure to share the video, like and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on self-hosting and how to protect your privacy.